I'm Justine Waldman. Our top story is that police have arrested a man accused of attacking two people, and one of the victims includes Piedmont's police chief. The chief is now questioning why the suspect had been released from jail before serving his full sentence for kidnapping. Crown Forest Tiffany Justice spoke with the Piedmont police chief and joins us now with details. And so what happened here, Tiffany? All right, so Chief Bauer is telling us that he's going to follow through with this investigation. Right now, detectives are working to gather evidence before it's handed over to the Alameda County D DA's office. He had um, significantly injured in an unprovoked attack an older gentleman. I knew he had just gotten done um, injuring a couple of my officers, and so it was at that point in time. It's uh, it doesn't matter what rank you are. Um, you know we're in this business. Um, we know what we sign up for, and any officer in my position would do the same thing. On Monday, Piedmont Police Chief Jeremy Bowers recounting attack on Friday that had him face to face with a violent suspect. Around 4.20 in the afternoon, police were called to Ace Hardware on 1221 Grand Avenue after getting calls about an elderly man getting punched from behind. It happened right inside of our front door. Um, initially, we thought it was a medical um, issue because there really wasn't anybody around. We had an elderly customer kind of walk through the door. Um, appeared to kind of stop and clean his glasses um, and a gentleman walked from outside right behind him sucker punched him right into right in the back of his head and knocked him out for quite a few minutes. Store manager Sean Braga says a suspect 42 year old Willie Gomer then ran back outside into the building next door which is their garden center. That's where Piedmont police caught up to Gomer. Chief Bauer says a suspect immediately initiated a physical confrontation. Um, my officers uh, attempted to subdue them and were relegated to having to use uh, their tasers um, on several occasions in addition to um, our OC spray or, or pepper spray for lack of a better term, all of which proved to be ineffective on the suspect. Um, one of my officers was injured during the uh, confrontation um, uh, and uh, at that point uh, they were unable to, to subdue him and he continued to, to flee southbound on Grand Avenue towards Sunny Slope at that point. Gomer then broke into a home and threatened the resident before running off. Chief Bauer decided to strategically place himself in the direction the suspect was heading. He then found himself in a fist fight with Gomer. And uh, lo and behold, he uh, popped right out where I was at. And um, so at that point, I exited my vehicle, identified myself, um, gave him commands, um, and he in immediately advanced on me. Got basically got on top of him in, inside the seat, um, and we, that's when we got in the physical confrontation. You know, he's he's punching, trying to get me off, and I'm of course having to de defend myself and prevent him from carjacking me. The chief says Gomer was released early on parole for auto theft, robbery, and kidnapping, along with several parole violations. He says after reviewing records from Gomer's kidnapping offense, they learned he was released prior to his full term, which would have kept him in jail until 2025, prompting the police chief to question why. When I look at that situation, one of the things I'm thinking is, you know, what is he doing out? Because uh, clearly uh, he wasn't in a space where he, quite frankly, should be in public. Uh, based off his actions. Now we're told one officer was treated at the hospital and released that night. Gomer has been cleared medically. He's still in custody for a psychological evaluation. Then he will be booked into the Santa Rita jail. He's now facing additional charges, including multiple counts of assault on an officer, carjacking and robbery. Reporting live in the newsroom, Tiffany Justice, Crawford News.